It is not the movement of the clock that produces the newness of life. It is the movement in your mind. You're going to hear all kinds of things said about you. Throw it behind you. The enemies that you see today, you will see them no more. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises against you, God will condemn. This is my time. Of the matter is, everybody in here is going through a change. You don't have to be ashamed of yours. We are all in the process of transforming to a higher, better expression of myself. Let this be the year that I birth a higher, better expression of myself. Don't let the habits of my past. Stop me from this metamorphosis. New year, new me. New year, new me. What separates us is transformation. The possibility of change. The desire to evolve. The passion to get up off the ground and stop eating dirt. I'm, I'm tired of doing what I used to do. If I always do what I've always done, I'll always be where I've always been. I'm gonna throw it behind me. There's somebody in this room that that nobody would think would be in a church tonight, but you drew them to this place tonight. Because you want them to be a new me and a new year and have a new attitude and a new mind. Because the real battleground is in your mind. That's where the fight is. You lay down with it. You get up with it. You go to work with it. You can't digest your food because of it. Smiling in front of people and nobody knows that there's gunfire going off in your head. It's not a geographical location. It's not debt. It's not money. It's not haters. It's not enemies. It's not liars. It's not backbiters. That's not the battleground. Stop wasting your weapons on what people say because it is not what they say about you that matters it is what you say about you that threatens your destiny you will never be defeated by what they say about you you will be defeated by what you say about you I dedicate this to you to the greatness in you and to the dream that you showed up on the planet to produce and it's simply this if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold, poverty, famish or gulf, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if God and grim, you besiege and beset it. With the help of God, you'll get you it. You have greatness in you. What I'm trying to tell you, beloved, is that you can have a new year, but it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. I'm telling you that you can buy a new car. But if you put the old man in a new car, you're still going to have the old experience. I'm telling you that a new house doesn't make a new marriage. I'm talking about a new outfit doesn't make you a new person. And if you think you are magically going to be a new person, I hate to be the bearer of bad news because new life comes from a new mind and a new way of looking at your life. I can't.
cannot step into the future and still think in my past. I cannot let the rumors and the stain of what they said about me destroy my opportunity. Slap somebody and tell them I got to kill it tonight. I got to destroy it tonight. I got to get rid of it tonight. I got to throw it behind me tonight. I can't drag that same old mess into another year. You do make a difference. We all have things that we're believing for, dreams that we want to accomplish, problems we're hoping will turn around. Maybe it's to see our family restored, to lose some weight, to break an addiction, to start our own business. But sometimes as it goes on, month after month, even year after year, we don't see anything changing 
It's easy to get discouraged and think, it's never going to happen. This is as good as it gets. I'll just learn to live with it. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter. Think, why is this happening to me? Sometimes we look at pieces in our lives that don't make sense. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. Every painful time, even though you don't like it, it's developing something in you that can only be developed in the tough times. Eventually, that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. In those tough times, when you're uncomfortable, going through a loss, dealing with an illness, you could easily let it overwhelm you. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. I may not like it, but I'm not a whiner. I'm a warrior. I know I can handle this. Don't complain about the pain. Without the pain, we couldn't reach the fullness of our destinies. Sometimes we bring pain on ourselves. We make poor choices, get in a relationship we know is not good, or maybe get over our head in our spending. Now it's painful. We're having to deal with the consequences. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. Difficulties are a part of life. Now quit telling yourself you can't take it. You're not weak. You are well able. Eventually the pain will pass. You'll give birth to new strength. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. And there will always be forces trying to convince us to settle where we are. Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. They can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes. There are dreams buried under divorce, buried under low self-esteem. It's easy to settle for mediocrity even though we have all this potential buried on the inside. What are you remembering? The hurt, the pain, what didn't work out? Turn it around and remember your dream. Have you allowed any dreams to get buried in you? At one time, you believed you could do something great. You believed you could lead the company in sales. You believed you could break that addiction. And it's been a long time, had some bad breaks, it wasn't all your fault. You could easily settle where you are. Nobody would fault you. The enemy would love to deceive you into burying your dream, thinking that it's never gonna work out. Don't believe those lies. It's not too late to become all that you were created to be. Every time you remember your dream, you're removing some dirt. You're digging it back out. The true mark of a champion is even though some dirt gets thrown on your dream, instead of letting it get buried, you keep shaking it off. You keep moving forward. You wouldn't be having that opposition if you didn't have something great in you. If your dream wasn't alive and on track, right on schedule to come to pass, you wouldn't have so many things coming against you. That dream is still alive. You may have tried a year ago, five years ago, or 40 years ago. Didn't work out. Nobody was there to help you. Go back and try again. This is your time. This is your moment. Your destiny is calling out to you. Can I tell you? Your dream is not dead. It's just not in season. Your time is coming. Promotion is coming. Good breaks are coming. 
promises you've been standing on, dreams you've been...